Hello Houston and hello YouTube and hello everyone. Today is April 8th, 2024. Today is the day of the uh, solar eclipse. And I'm out here near the railroad tracks. I was waiting for a train. I see one down there. and uh, But any minute now, it should start getting dark here in Houston. It's not going to get totally dark. We're not in the totality uh, region. But it should get dark and nothing else is going to happen because I don't know if you can see behind me, the, the skies are cloudy. It looks rainy and people are like, Still standing outside with those solar sunglasses, and I'm, I just don't have the heart to tell them, like, you're not going to see much, man. You're not going to see the ring of fire, you know. Um, it's going to get dark, but that's about it. But that's cool enough, you know. Uh, anything is cool when something like that happens. And I don't believe that this is anything more than just the moon passing in front of the sun. It's not an apocalypse. It's nothing, nothing else. I mean, come on. If it does happen, oh well. However... I'll be back in a few. Uh, hopefully a train comes too, because I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Hobo Shoestring. Rest in peace, brother, man. You know, it was great watching your videos, and I still will watch your videos. And we do have a train coming. Hang on. Okay, so we don't have a train. This uh, maintenance vehicle is coming down the track, setting off the uh, signal. Uh, this is something I don't film every day. It's the first time I film one of these. It's a, some sort of maintenance vehicle. Stop and let someone on. Track maintenance doing their work, keeping the uh, track safe. Oh well. So that wasn't a train after all. Uh, that that one got me. Sitting there talking about hobo shoestring and easy messing around, sent that maintenance thing over to fool me. But um, so that was cool though. I never filmed one of those. Uh, however, you know, like I was saying, you know, as for hobo shoestring, you know. For those who don't know him, for the people who look at my videos that don't know who Hobo Shoestring is, Mark Nichols, he was a train rider, freight train rider, and he did this for 30 years. Rode freight trains, you know, and uh, all over, like, 49 states, into Canada, he even claimed Mexico. And uh, this guy was a professional train rider. He was a professional hobo. And he had a lot of fans, a lot of friends, and uh, I enjoyed watching his videos a lot. I've always liked trains since I was a little kid, as well as I rode some myself. I can still hear the maintenance of the horns. But, uh, yeah, Hobo Shoestring is a great guy, you know. He, he, he was one of the, the, claimed to be one of the nicest people you could ever approach. He never started trouble. He lived a humble life. And uh, he just wanted to ride trains. And part of it was he claimed he, he is diagnosed with Asperger's. And... Um, that is something that kept him level, you know, is riding trains, you know, it's, hey, that's cool, you know, but he just hop on trains and go anywhere he wants. Oh, shit. I don't know if I should do this with the sun, but the clouds just broke. I peeked at it for a second. I feel fine. Hang on. Uh, a lot of cool stuff happening today. Um... Yeah, I just, I just wait for it to get a bit dark. We're in the 80 to 90 percent area in Houston from totality. That sounds like some science fiction crap, huh? But anyway, that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're, it's not going to be totally dark, but it's going to get darker. And I can, hopefully the shadows on the ground will look weird. 
And uh, like as I was saying again, like hobo shoestring, hobo shoestring road freight trains. He loved doing that. He loved making his videos and sharing them with people, and I enjoyed watching them. He's the one that inspired me to come out and make my own train videos. You know, the railroad tracks that I'm surrounded by, I'm here in this area of Houston. So I came out and started doing something like two or three years ago. They're on my YouTube channel. I'm not a professional, but I film what I film, and I do it for fun. I'm not in it for money. But uh, I'm sitting over here watching uh, people at the Union Pacific Signal Department. And um, uh, watching Hobo Shishing, I learned a lot about trains, you know, um, what intermodal is, uh, what granier is, what a Cadillac granier is, which he loved to ride, DPUs, and how to look at a railroad track and see how often a train comes through. Because uh, a, a railroad track that hasn't been used in a long time will have rust on top of it, but when trains pass through there, they'll look shiny. So I learned that, you know, these tracks around here look shiny, except for one that's abandoned, that's rusty looking. I'll try to get a picture of it in a minute, uh, right over here somewhere. And uh, they do pass through here sometimes because it's like a train yard, like I said, but they're mostly on the main line. And this is a siding track over here. So anyway, but Hobo Shoestring, man, what happened to him, uh, for people who don't know, uh, he, like last week he went to the ER, he was complaining of a, uh, being disoriented, uh, having hallucinations and all this stuff. And now he didn't drink anymore either. And he, he always says he don't do drugs. He quit doing that a long time ago. And quit drinking, quit smoking, quit dipping. You know, he had it going. Uh, anyway, uh, like, never mind. I thought a cop was rolling up on me for sitting here. I'm in a public place. But anyway, uh, yeah, he, he left the hospital like three in the morning got home by four in the morning he had a little apartment townhouse whatever you want to call it Johnson City Tennessee and like an hour or two later he took off again left and hasn't been seen again um, he was missing for a week his family got involved friends got involved uh, the Johnson City Police Department put out a silver alert either that or the Tennessee Bureau of Investigations put out a silver alert publicly on the news it was on the news it was like all over the place when something like that happens uh, it's like an amber alert and uh they couldn't find him and like just april uh april yeah april 6th this is april april 6 2024 they discovered the body of hobo shoestring and boone lake directly behind his residence he had a big lake behind us uh where he lived and he often went out there to take pictures of it show things out there so you know it's a nice looking lake you know and they found his body in there and uh after a week and confirmed it was him and a lot of youtube train fans like me are putting out videos like crazy so i'd like to do mine in memory of them all, all that he taught me about trains that i didn't really know about or didn't really think about it gives me something to think about he had a bit of a humor you know and he's always showing what he bought at the store he carried a five gallon bucket around he kept his stuff in, kept it uh, like a shoulder strap on top. Had a, the top had a bit, I think it was a bit of a cushion said Union Pacific on it. He had a bunch of other train stickers on the bucket. Plus his frame pack with, you know, extra clothes, whatever he needed. Uh, he always showed what, what kind of food he had in the, uh, the bucket. He would cook sometimes outside and how he cooks outside was pretty cool and looked pretty good to me. i would kind of done it before when I was riding freight trains and hoboing around you know if, if you will call it that uh, but uh yeah uh, it's hobo shoestring man he's a legend he's a legend that guy will never be forgotten he'll be missed and i'll always stay subscribed to his channel on youtube and just watch his videos whenever i feel like it you know there's a few of them that are my favorites like one time he uh train was stopped and the uh the driver came out and told him hey that DPU is empty and it's unlocked. So he got a ride in a DPU midway on the train and uh, he filmed that. That's on his YouTube channel somewhere. I can't remember how long ago that was. It's been a while. You know, and there's been a few times he rode into Houston and uh, I could have gotten to meet him, but by the time I got in touch with him, he was already uh, heading to San Antonio. But anyway, uh, Hobo Shoestring was born in Port Arthur, Texas. Well, it's kind of where my family is from, uh, that area. And I have a lot of family in that, um, like Orange, Texas still. And uh, he was born July 
1970, which I was born in 1970 myself, and he died April 6th, 2024. Rest in peace, brother. Now, I'm going to walk back over to the track and uh, see if there's any trains coming, see if I can get some action today over here. I did a video last night. I did this video last night. A train came by. I wasn't well organized, but I was out doing my uh, thing. I got home and my phone decided to funk out. And it just totally deleted everything. I, um, I had to free up some storage on my phone. And I tried to save the video of the train going by, but it wouldn't let me. It was gone. But, oh well, that happens. I mean, there's always more. Like I said, I live, I live around a bunch of train tracks, including the light rail, which is what I take to go to work every day. And, uh, I can always hear them. I can always hear the trains even when I'm home. I live down the road here a bit. But I can always hear the trains, like, coming. And from now on, every time I hear a train or see one, I'll be thinking of Hobo Shoestring. And any video I'll make of trains after this, it's going to be for Hobo Shoestring. He, he meant that much to a lot of people. Just a humble life, nicest guy you probably see on TV or even met, which I unfortunately never got to meet. But anyway, um, that my heart goes out to his family and friends, those who are close to him and actually hang out with him or ridden with him. I would have loved to have ridden with a hobo shoestring. That would have been an honor, really. And plus, as I said, uh, he was a mechanic in the army, so he was he was military, and um, so I, I give honor to that. Thanks for your service. But anyway, I'm gonna get rolling, head to my train. I'm gonna go get something to eat too before I head to work tonight. And hopefully, you know, I don't know what's going on in the sky right now. Hopefully it's getting dark. I would like to see it get dark, you know, here, just for a couple of minutes. And as I say, and then see what, how birds react to it and different animals, you know, they get a little confused what's going on, just like me. But uh, anyway, I'll see you later. Uh, pick up on this video again in a minute. If not, I'll end it with proper outro. See ya. Yeah, this is one of the areas where I get a lot of trains are siding right here and plus this uh, uh I, I don't you call this a good this goes into the train yard right over there but uh i don't see anything coming right now but that's the siding a lot of action comes through here and there was some lights down there but i don't see them anymore maybe it turned off on a different track But yeah, there's a side, and here's like what I was talking about a while ago. If you look at a rail, like this one doesn't get, hang on, let me get over here. There's a lot of rust on it. That has a lot of rust. So this track isn't used too often. Not like this other one on the sidings. I wonder who's going to honk at me or yell. People always do that when you got a camera, you know. They'll honk or yell or want to get involved in the video. Actually, these people are being right. They're just looking at me like, what is this dude doing? I'm going to get off the track here because in Texas it is illegal to stand on a railroad track while taking pictures. Uh, like this one. This one's a little bit rusty, but trains come through all the time. So this ain't bad. You can see where the, uh, the wheels have been hitting on the rail. Anyway, I'm going to head back this way. I'm going to head down to the light rail track, get on the train. I am starving. I'm going to give me something to eat somewhere. I'm just hoping it gets dark. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to cross this other rail track down here, so there's another track down here before I get to the light rail. Anyway, see you in a minute. We got one coming. Uh, he was sitting down there for a minute, but now he's moving. And this one's for you, hobo. Maybe I can get a horn salute. Can't promise, but I'll try. Let's 
KCS. Some grain ears right there for hobo shoestring. Some good rides too. Not a Cadillac, but it's not a Cadillac grain ear, but they're, they're, that's a good porch. Oh, let's see. Here's another good grain ear coming up. Look at the front lips of that, of the uh, the porch there. That's some good hiding. This one looks porchless. There's downtown Houston in the background. Hey, he's heading south, uh, down towards Lockwood, Eastwood. After that, I don't know. I'm not one that knows where trains are going all the time, like some uh, people on YouTube filming trains. I don't have the equipment. I don't have the trans receiver. I don't know all the codes. I'm looking to get a trans receiver. I'm also looking to get someone to help me program it so I can tell when trains are coming, get there quicker maybe, even though I walk. Oh yeah, this one's for you, hobo man. It's already almost 1.50 also, uh, it didn't get dark. It was saying online between 1.40 and 1.44. That's when the solar eclipse was happening and nothing happened here. FML. You know what that stands for. <laughs> he might be stopping. Hey, if you stop, get up. Give me a good uh, granular right, like that one right there. I want to get good pictures of that up inside. Yeah, he's getting ready to stop. Come on, give me a granular before you... A good guy in there with a good porch. Uh, maybe not stopping, I don't know. It looked like he was slowing down. I think he's just going really slow. And that's something the hobo fishing I always said to never want to ride on a tanker because you got to ride up on top there on the, on the crow's nest. And that's a mistake, Ryan, because you will be seen. Everyone's going to see you. And it gets really hot up there in the summertime. I've, ri I've been inside of train tankers, actually, when I worked uh, for a sandblasting company. We uh, had to sandblast the inside of a tanker. Was that, uh, I think it was Dow Chemical, one of the, the chemical plants. We get down inside of that, sandblast the inside of it. One person had to sit on top with the oxygen meter. If the oxygen ran out inside the tanker, it beeps, set off an alarm, had to get out of there. But in the middle of summertime in Texas, it's like, oh man, I think it had to have been 120 degrees, if not more. It was so long ago, I don't remember. Uh, good grain here right there, good porch. A lot of tankers coming now. And you see that pink building? Pink building back on the other side of the tracks is a, there's a camera over there and they film the railroad tracks. I think someone lives there actually. I think it's a house, some weird house. But it's on YouTube. If you go to live trains on YouTube, 
They have cameras all over Houston, Missouri, Conroe, Texas. Wherever they got cameras, they put it up on YouTube. Anything cool happens. These tracks and the siding tracks over there are also uh, on that channel. But yeah, Hobo Shoestring, man, he would like this train. I think there's some good rides on it. Yeah, this one's porchless, though, this grain here. Well, it's not porchless, it's just not it. Uh, no, that's a porch, but that's not very hidden, like. Any sidewalls on that one. You know, I've actually seen uh, some interesting trains on that channel, too, that come through here. Um, like, passenger trains even come through here. And one side of Houston, you can see the Amtrak going down a rail. I'm just never in the right place at the right time. So rusty coil car right here. Well, that one's been around. Oh, he's picking up speed a bit now. Oh, there's gondola coming. That's cool. Got a bunch of pipes in that one. Now I'm hoping I can uh, get this video together. My phone was, uh, I, I deleted a lot of stuff on my phone and it still was acting weird. Say storage space running out. I deleted stuff, I freed up space. But I'll see what I can do with this one. Hopefully it works. Erase. Oh, this blue grain you're coming up. That's cool looking. I like that one. Doesn't look like a good ride though. But it's cool. I like that paint, the uh, blue. Yeah. The way I think now, Hobo's riding all these trains now, man. He's going wherever he wants now. No, no problems. Plenty of uh, Cadillac Grainiers and open box cars for him. Now, this is a long one. A gypsy. It's kind of cool. There's a DPU. Yeah, yeah. The one yesterday I filmed that uh, got deleted had a DPU on the rear. Uh, I see the end of it coming. There's no DPUs on this one. And I can tell these tankers aren't loaded. Was the last of it. Gonna have a lot of cars coming uh, over the track in a minute, too. There they go, down towards Lockwood Eastwood. Oh, that was cool. There's one for Hobo Shoestring. And like I said, every train I see in here now, I'm going to think of him. And all the trains are going to be dedicated to him from now on for me. And I hear a police car or something coming up behind me. Not for me. But, uh, but yeah, that was cool. You know, waited a while for a train. Finally got one. I was actually heading towards the uh, light rail to get on it and head to work. But yeah, I'm going to go out and eat now. Do what I got to do. And, uh, as I said, rest in peace, hobo shoestring. I'm just glad they 
finally found where he was. I mean, I don't have to sit there and worry too much anymore. I'm kind of across the street here. And, uh, and that's where I just was, down that way at the railroad. But, uh, heading out now. I'll talk to you later. Until the next time I bring you more random chaos, I'll bring you more random chaos. So stay happy, stay strong, stay safe, and love one another. Talk to you later.